Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. So last time we made it through Victory Road to make it to the Pokemon League. And we also found Barry. And yeah, we're gonna be the ones to take on the Pokemon League first. But in between parts, I now level 55. That's the level I felt most comfortable taking myself. So let's look at the team as well. Hanuman with the excellent build. And there's the stats. One of the fastest members of my team, which is gonna be useful. And they still have the same moves. I think everyone still has the same moves, so yeah. Then we got Yuka, who I might actually change the whole time for. They currently have the Soft Sand, and of course 195 attack, 121 speed is still really good. And of course the same moves as before. So they're gonna be invaluable for this. Jitayu with the Sky Plate. And yeah, 170 attack, they're actually slightly faster than um, Hanuman at 148 speed. In a return, Braver, Close Comma, and Fly is the moves. They got Off the Punch, still holding the Quick Claw. Has the same attack and special attack, with a decent, <laughs> not really good, 69 speed. But 96 defense, 105 defense is pretty good, and still rocking the same moves as before. Then we got Blue Block. So Blue Blanc gets a new hold on the wise glasses. To get this, you need to, um... The glasses dude from before, you need to go and, um... Go to his shop, or go to the shop where he is. Then, um, at different times of day he gives you different kind of glasses. During the night, I believe, is when you get the wise glasses. They are the boost the power of all special moves, which will be useful. And yeah, 163 is special attack, 131 on special defense, and 127 speed, that's really solid. The main reason why the wise glasses and not the um, poison barb is because I kinda. It's because Giga Train has good tight coverage, but Sludge Bomb has more power, so yeah, that's the reason for that. Electro, holding the magnet, they have 148 speed, making them tied for my fast team, I do believe. 130 attack, 121 special attack, that's pretty good. Same moves as before. And that is it. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about this, but yeah, I'm mainly worried about World the Champion. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, look at my money. I battle the rich kid, I think is what they're called, a lot for the grind, so yeah, that means I got paid, so yeah. Let's buy some more higher versions, some more full restores, and maybe some more revives, just in case. This will also mean we're pretty good for the post game as well. Okay, so with that done, let's talk to this dude. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So let's examine the gym badges you got from the center. Orbex says Cold Badge. Eternus says Forest Badge. Harham says Red Badge. Bailston says Cold Badge. Pistoria says Fen Badge. Canalave says Mine Badge. Snowpoint says Ice Cold Badge. And Sunny Shore says Shiny Saw says Beacon Badge. Very well. Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. Alright, let's go. I'm not too scared of the Elite Four. Again, it's mainly the champion, although one of the Elite Four members are definitely really scared of. It's not this dude though, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and fight him. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon nasty mean and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here? It's because I want to become perfect just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. And Elite Four Music's a remix of the Gym Leader theme. In this game. So this is Aaron, a master bug type Pokemon. Like Yon Mega here. So his team is a lot better in this version. Featuring some very scary bug type Pokemon. So yeah. That's why I'm the hard one. Normally the bug type trainers are full in the early game. Because that's where you normally find all the bugs. So aside, because there's so many cool bug type Pokemon, especially in the Platinum decks. Let's find him here. Unfortunately, this team is a lot less than Dino Ball, but yeah, well, that kind of goes up all of them, so yeah. Here's a Drapion. This is Ace Pokemon, by the way, so he's lower level than me, but yeah, that's, um, yeah. 
So yeah, of course, I'm about to say to hit this guy as Yuta, so I'm gonna do exactly that. I should have Yuta, though. That's what I should have done. <laughs> Get a little bit of chip damage, although I don't think we need the chip damage. And yeah, Aerial Ace. So we can switch into that easy. Let's go for Nerf King and take out. What do you use fast on this? It was X is up. Man, that Trapion's really fast though. I guess, yeah, at 80 speed. 121 speed, actual stat, yeah. You need to be very careful though. But it, we can't just sweep pull teams with Yuka, it seems. But anyway, we take on the Trapion. And Sizzle's coming up. So, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious why I should do that. Go back into Hanuman. So, yeah, you may have also noticed too, his ace is not even a bug type. Yeah, I've always found that it's really weird, but yeah. Yep, he goes a steel type move. That's what I was thinking. It does hurt, but not too bad because we resist him, so that's good. And now Hanuman's in and it's gonna destroy his team. Because, yeah, I don't think any of his teamers like to get hit by a flamethrower, so yeah. Down goes his sizzle. And you can get some experience. Heracross. I think we're gonna try Jintaiyu. <laughs> I'm keeping switching a lot here. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna watch this in a pretty much, so yeah. Don't need to U-turn again. Also, because the mistress is. Ooh, he actually might have a good comment, but I did lower his attack, so yeah, this won't hurt us too badly. It does hurt, the uh. How much will a brave bit do? To us, that's the main thing. <laughs> because yeah, after, after we take out the Heracross, we're gonna have to switch out again. No questions asked. So there we go. Took out his Heracross. What's he saying out now? His last Pokemon, Vespa. It's exerting its pressure. So. Hmm. You could also use Electro. As well. Hmm. I'll try Hanuman. I think what it's gonna do is defend the Pokemon. This single has all the water moves, right? Now he can attack that makes no sense. So he goes for Power Trim, doesn't do too much. Let's go for Flamethrower because it gets X for double boosted. This also kind of is very annoying. So yeah, having a rock type move just to deal with that is very nice. Too bad I don't have one. But it doesn't let the Flamethrower. We got a Crooklet too, very nice. We defeat Aaron. I will now concede the feat, but I think you came to see our great bug type Pokemon can be. Hope you also realize what you're up against the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. I lost at the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. That's shrink. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Free trainers waiting for you, double tough and pink. He's not lying, but anyway. Let's use all the movements. So yeah, again, he's not that special. The other Elite Four members are definitely a lot more threatening than he is, so yeah. Especially because, yeah, I feel like my team did, does type up pretty good against the Bug types, so yeah. The next battle, let's lead with a Blue Block, I think. I think Blue Block's pretty good against the next Gym Leader. Not Gym Leader, Elite Four members, so yeah. Those are pretty cool. And here they are. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you also got a spine. <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference of ground type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? So, yeah, we'll find a ground type specialist. Don't normally see these that much. Especially in Leap 4. So, she's leading with a Whisk Cash that's absolutely perfect because Blue Blanc is going to destroy it with a Giga Dream. So yeah, Ground type Pokemon are quite scary, obviously. They have Stab Earthquake on their side. And their team does have some pretty decent synergy between the members, so yeah. That's why she's gonna be a bit scary. So what's she saying on next? Glyscore. 
So yeah, this is where I want to send in Yuka. Because Yuka should be able to take on what my score has. Especially if it goes for like a flying type move right now, or if I mean if it goes off five, like if it goes at another thing, that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm gonna see the damage and then we're gonna decide what to do from here. Okay, I'm gonna go for an ice fight. He goes for Earthquake again, that's good. Because, yeah, I don't think an ice shot's enough because by score, one of its best stats is his defense, so yeah. There we go. Let's go for a nice ice fang. Hit it where it hurts. And yeah, I think I need to use Yuka there because, um. I need to use Yuka there because otherwise, I fear that, um. Oh, the punch would survive. Maybe a golem's coming up. So. I guess it's back into blue plump. I think. Do I want to do that though? I think I'm going to play it safe and go for Odd the Punch for time being. Maybe give. Maybe have Odd the Punch be a free switch for um, blue plump. You know? Yep, good thing I did that. He went for Fire Punch, so yeah. Well, she went for Fire Punch, I should be saying. You get burned, unfortunately. We can't really do much about that, unfortunately, but now so she should be one shot. Very nice. And now Otter Punch is actually pretty good against her last two Pokemon, so yeah. I say that was probably the better switch to go for. Unfortunately, this burn is gonna be very annoying to deal with. Right period is coming up. Let's try a surf. He still has speed the right period. Very nice. And even if it has Solid Rock, I don't think it's going to take this because um, it still hurts. And yeah, there you go. Take out that right there. We get hit by Ben again, and the last Pokemon is going to be Hippalda. The female Hippalda, because it's black. And it actually looks cool in the male one, in my opinion. But yeah, as Sandstream doesn't really do much for her team. When you think about it, all it really does is damage you, but it does boost the special defense of a two rock type Pokemon, so yeah. That's the main synergy. And yep, the Paladin is very bulky, so I was expecting it to live at least one surf. Especially because, yeah, we aren't running an island to boost the power back damage, so yeah. And that Earthquake is going to hurt us a lot. Yep. But now we can go into. Should be able to kill it from that range, so yeah. It's got really good physical defense. In fact, its defenses in general are really good, so yeah. Dear child, don't amuse me from instant you want. The seal is what she said, but anyway. So she goes to the forest stop, I'm pretty sure Giga Drain is going to kill it, so yeah. It should be a done deal. That's what I was thinking. And the sandstorm damage isn't too bad because we can heal it off, so yeah. And there we go. Just need to go for two Giga Drains. And we can knock out that power. Yeah, this is a blue blocks fight. Even though it's neutral to Growl, because the poison type, yeah. Those grass type moves really pound the team, so yeah. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your poker believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I lost, I find myself with a silly grin. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokémon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. Alright, so yeah, we need to revive off the punch. I wonder if we could lift the Earthquake if we, um, think I'm done. And we can keep using our movement. Because, yeah, I can full time potions really easily now, so yeah. So, there we go. For the next battle, let's lead with Hanuman, actually. Because I have a good feeling about what Hanuman could do in the next battle. Hey, we got this dude. <laughs> Yo, trainer, you had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Voltner what you did in Sunny Shore. 
You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing your battle? Your face like a fire type poker you so be. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. So yeah, you might be wondering what this guy was like a Dino of Pearl because there's only two fire type families. Yeah, it was kinda weird. This time though, he has a much better fire type team. And he leads to the Hound. But luckily for us, Houndoom has really bad physical defense, so an earthquake is probably gonna knock it out. I don't even need to use my stab this combo against it. So let's go for that. That was actually one of my best bets for this ship, but I'm at least four but I kept saying that again. Because uh, my water type Pokemon is on the slow side, which isn't good for this guy. Anyway, he's saying it is own. Um I think I'm gonna U turn. You know, again, I don't need to do this. It is a quad resist. I'm not so sure what he's gonna go for, but I'm gonna try Jintayu because Jintayu does have a good type matchup and outspeeds too because my fun one outspeed them. They have the same speed, so yeah. Yep, he went for Earthquake. Good. So let's go for a break then. and knock it out of one hit. And yeah, in fact it's actually not his star pocket, I think it used to be that. So there we go. We took out his own infinity. That thing's pretty scary apparently. And my one loves up in this battle. Next up is Magmorda, his ace pokemon. So I guess we go back into Hanuman then? Let's try. He goes a flame throw, that's good. So yeah. But good thing I didn't go into um Yuka, because Yuka probably would have gone one shot by now. So yeah, let's try another earthquake with the X with the boost. Yeah, Mac Wallace now is ace Pokemon. Kinda like his friend Volk though. He likes to use the kind of part to electrify it, so yeah. And the Mac Wallace goes down, very nice. Because yeah, his defenses aren't the best, so yeah. Next up is Rapidash. So yeah, the thing about this guy I haven't really mentioned yet is that he likes to use sunny days, so yeah. That's like one of his strategies. And yeah, it definitely helps him out a lot. Of course, all his Pokemon Fire type Pokemon also reduce the power of all time moves, and he does like to use Silver Beam so his Pokemon. But as you see that, yeah, him. Hanuman is actually surprisingly really good against the team, and his last Pokemon is Flurry. Good such defense, not so good for um, physical. The field Tamisha will is overpowering me. So yeah, that means that yeah, actually Earthquake is much better than going for that stuff, so yeah. And yeah, Hanuman's highest speed meant that yeah, it was probably gonna have a more fun time in this one with Yuka, who's also weak to fire to me, so yeah. And there we go. Made him look pretty easy. With my own fire type, which is very funny. I don't believe it, I lost. I didn't take you for granted. But I didn't expect you to win. I never even considered it. I blow away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. Ooh, burnt right down to cinders. Alright, so with him out of the way, I think you'd use two Pokemon against stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm a bit overleveled for this. I'm definitely not for the champion, though, let's just say. Because, yeah, I'm very worried about them. For the next battle, I think I'm gonna leave the Hanuman again, because they have a U-turn. That's the important thing. And this is the battle I'm most scared of, too. We're up against... This guy. Oh boy, this guy. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a use of the psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. This is Lucian. Uses the type that I'm most scared of to go up against Psychic. Because none of my Pokemon are very good against Psychics. He leads with a Mr. Mine. So yeah, this is where U-Turn comes in. Or an Earthquake. But I'm gonna try U-turn because I have um X belt boost on it, so yeah. And yeah, it actually does one-shot stuff in this time, very nice. 
So it was uh, next. Thinking about his team, I think we should go into Octopunch. So yeah, Mr. Mine goes down. It sets up screens too, so it's actually kind of dangerous. Alex is So I'm gonna try Surf on it. He has an energy bolt bulb. <laughs> I should have seen that. And I think it's gonna one shot the yeah, it hurts really badly. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch into um Yeah that, that actually did fine. That's good damage. We're gonna go into hmm I could go into blue block, but I think the problem is I don't think it's speed. I don't think even Jitai on speed. I'm gonna try to type it. So yeah, uh, and Demi's not gonna do anything because it's a special attacker. Yep, he switched to Psycho, so he kind of made the smart move done. And yeah, that's gonna hurt chunks. Yep, that crippled hit. So, my next bet is there. My next best bet is you, well not Yuka, Hanuma. Yuka actually would do quite well with Aisha, but yeah, now I can go for yet another U-turn. Unfortunately, he outspeeds, so yeah. I'm getting demolished. So I should have definitely went into Yuka. And now my powerful U-turns are not on my side, so yeah. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> I'll go out to Pokemon I know very well. It's terrifying. <laughs> Let's try an ice shot. Let's hope it's enough. And again, I should have put the Neville Mount Reduce on. I am using Earthquake a lot still, so yeah. There goes his arms. So what's to say our next? Bronzer. Well, I think I'm pretty sure I know why he's in this one. So... Uh... What do I want? Probably... Hmm, I think he has Earthquake, that's the problem. So... I'll try... Octopunch. Punch. Fortunately, Octopunch Punch is low on health. He goes to Psychic. And... Yeah, we got knocked down. Oh, he crossed it again. So yeah, this is why I'm scared of this guy. Now, the problem is, I don't think I have anything left for this. Because I'm pretty sure it has Levitate. So you know what? Let's try a Leech. Because I need to get back on my feet. So, ooh, calm mind. Yup. <laughs> this thing is scary. But the question is, what do I want to do against it? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Think about the rest of his team, I'm pretty sure I need to use Revive, so... Let's revive Hanuma. He goes for a Psychic. Gonna Calm Mind Boost. I don't think it's gonna kill us, but it's gonna hurt us bad. Oh, it does. Yup. The problem is, I don't think he's weakened enough, so... for the Flamethrower to take it out. So... It has to be Electro, I think. I could also Flame Wave, but that's not a bad idea. So I'll try that. Because I'm pretty sure he has Earth on this thing too, so yeah. Yep, he has Earth Quick, so yeah. I think Electro's gonna go down. But if it doesn't, then yeah, that's pretty good for us. But no. So yeah, let's try Hanuman here. Let's try Flamethrower, we kinda have to at this point. And unfortunately he has the Calm Mind boost, so yeah. That's not gonna look out, unfortunately. He gets paralyzed. He's gonna f actually... Oh, the leech he took it out. <laughs> the leech I kinda of forgot about. No, it did, very nice. So we take out his bronze up. Anyway, next up is Espeon. Which I'm gonna hope I can outspeed and go for u -turn. Yes I can! Very nice. And there we go. Ha! <laughs> got a crook with it. I kinda need it though. 
So let's go back into Yuko. To take out his S form. And Hanuman gets the 57. And what's left? Flare Blitz. You know what? Let's go for Brook. Let's teach him. It's a bit stronger, but it has recoil, so yeah. Very risky me to go for. Anyway, last Pokemon, Glade. You get to fight one for the first time. Hmm, now what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> Earthquake, let's try it. We actually outspeed. And it does have the best physical defense, so yeah, this might hurt a lot. I have that adamant nature too, so yeah. Almost. He gets his um, berry. He's probably gonna close combat us and take us out. Leaf Blade, actually. Which. We might actually live, question mark. <laughs> because that's not stab. Yep. So let's go for an Earth Kick and take it out. So yeah, there we go. I need to use one fight, but they, uh, that was grueling. I don't think I could have took it out the bronze one if I didn't do that, so yeah, that's fire and fight. But that's not a good sign of things to come, let's just say. <laughs> I see. You're getting past the free before with me was no fucking powers real. Congratulations, now being the elite form. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, I do wonder if the critical hit on the energy ball mattered. Or the psychic, I mean. It might have. I probably should have seen that psychic coming, to be honest. But yeah, I just see them with the punch, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that Kalakasem, I don't think I could have done much else to it, because yeah, it outsped a lot of us, so yeah. But yeah, I might take off Banner Priest again, like I said, the second type Pokemon I really struggle against, so yeah. It's actually his team, because it's really well built, so yeah. And yeah, now we do have a nice power up in Flare Blitz, but of course, it's a very risky move, so yeah. I'm playing very risky with my boost sets, I guess you could say too, so yeah. So let's go around to pull off. I think our PP is in a pretty good spot too. Yeah, the champion, yeah, I'm probably gonna need to use items, I think. Because they're gonna be rough. I predict, so yeah. I think for that battle, we're gonna lead with probably just time, I think. So yeah, before we go into there, let's yeah save the champion for the next part, obviously. So yeah, we took down the Elite Four today. Pretty grueling stuff, but yeah, of course though, the champion is gonna be something else, so yeah. Next time, yep, we're gonna be taking on the champion, the most infamous champion in the series, probably. And yeah. Will I be able to come out on top? I have my doubts, but let's find out. Look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.